DropTask is a great tool to help you organize your time. And this is the web view from a browser. And you can see multiple projects here that I have going on uh, for the family members. And then we're going to focus really on these three here today. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in there. We have other videos that talk about what a task is and what a subtask is. So we're just going to jump right into the tasks themselves. So here within drop task, it's pretty visual. So you can see everything that's going on. Notice here I have a start date of 10 December, 2 December, you know, 29 October, you get the drift, right? And here also I have assigned people. So you can assign people to tasks, which I always assign myself uh, to the tasks. But if you only have one person, then it 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 doesn't matter much but it's just a good practice to assign in case you want to assign a task to another family member it simplifies it so here we have all of these tasks notice that we have start dates on all of them and no due dates and we can have due dates so let's say here bring up christmas stuff right so we're bringing up the christmas stuff from the basement and but here we have take down christmas stuff in the basement so on on this day here December 1st, we've gone ahead and said, let's take all the stuff down. And then just so we don't overwork ourselves here on the 2nd, we're going to go ahead and bring that, that Christmas stuff up. And then if you notice here on the 10th of December is when we're going to get the Christmas tree. So we've given ourselves a week and I think we have some other Christmas related tasks in here as well. So we're able to set out so in this example, this could be a term paper, it could be a project that you're trying to get done, and I have these three tasks here kind of co coordinated with one another, and I'm able to look at it and say, okay, I'm only going to have 30 minutes a day, so I know that I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot, but I can do a little bit, and these are the little bits that I'm doing, so I'm able to spread my work out. So you can see here within drop task, I can create a new task if I want to just by coming up here and and saying take down, let's just say, take down Christmas tree. So this is a new task, again, related to the Christmas tree, it doesn't have to be, right? And I'm just going to hit go. Now notice here, it says take down Christmas tree and notice my initials are not near it. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag my initials on there. And then if I click on that task, I can see here I can put in the importance of that task, right? So put the red flag on there, the urgency of the task, right? And the amount of effort makes the task a little bigger or a little bit of effort makes the task a little bit smaller, right? So I can do all of that um, within my system. So I'm just going to go normal here, whoops, and put it back to normal size, okay? So you can adjust all of that and that helps you. You can also monitor it. So I can start my progress. And if you see here, notice here how it's kind of going around the circle here. So now I have progress. I can look at the task easily and say, hey, I'm 40% of the way done or what have you. Okay. I can also put the task on hold by hitting here and make notice how it makes a white circle around there, meaning that it's an inactive task. I can also hit complete, which completes the task. Now there is a way we're not going to show you in this video of seeing your completed task, which is here, by the way. Um, and there it is right there. So we're going to go ahead and go back in and take that bad boy off and put him back. Whoops. And put him back to 0%. Okay. So there is a way to see all of that. Let's go back to our family tasks and we're going to go back to our canvas here. So here we should see take down Christmas tree is back up again. See it right there. Okay. So let's say, and we're going to put a date on here of a start date of January, let's say January 2nd. All right. So we're going to take down the Christmas tree or let's, let's say we're going to do it right after Christmas. So the 29th. All right. We're going to hit save. Now we're going to start that task on January 29th. So you see all of these tasks. These are all kind of how we plan out, but let's look at something a little more close to home of things that we're doing right now this week. And we can see here, we're going to burn some branches, check the upstairs fireplace. We're going to move the lotus, sweep the basement, etc. You see these different components in here of these different start dates. Now, it's important that you see that it's a start date. Notice here, we have a due date. 
And so just sort of keep that in the back of your head and uh, think about it for just a minute, due date and, and start date. And let's go ahead and look. Now that we have all of these things to do, right, we're going to look at our calendar and see how we're going to do them. And this is where the calendar comes out. Now, I don't have to necessarily put these items on my actual calendar. I can just block a time that says tasks or whenever I have free time, I can go in and do it. But here, these are the tasks themselves that need to be done. And if we look here, we can see that there's a schedule. So today, tomorrow, this week, the following week, right? And we can see if we keep going down, we can see all of the tasks that are associated on each week. Now, notice here that we have these two tasks. We want to take down on December 1st and bring up the Christmas stuff. Now, it doesn't go, I don't know how far it goes out. Let's see, oh, January, so it goes out of ways. So if we look here for January, where did we have that take Christmas tree down? We'll have to take a look, see where we put that. But here, we can do it by start date, right? So here's all the start dates, which is what I use. Or you could do it by due date. Now here, if I select due date, notice here that I have one that's overdue. So I can take that and say, I need to do this task because it's overdue. I'm going to drop it right into here to do it tomorrow. Now it's only going to appear if I have it on due. If I do start, it's not going to appear. So what I can do with that task is I can just click on the task and I can put a start date in there, right? And so I want to make it due on the 27th. I want to start it on the 27th. I'm going to hit save and then get rid of that box. And now notice here on the 27th, here is that task that I was working on. We're going to actually push that task over to the first so I can drop it there. So I think you get the idea. This is a way to easily manage both your tasks here, right? So you're putting in all of your tasks that you need to get done, as well as here, where we can go over to the calendar and see and organize those tasks per week that we want to do. So let's go over one last thing before we, we end. Here, let's say that I'm, I'm starting off, maybe I review my tasks on a Saturday night or a Monday morning, maybe Sunday afternoon. I'm just looking at my tasks and organizing my week and getting everything ready to go. And let's say that I see here that I want to take this task here of washing the windows in Hunter and Jackson's room. And I want to start that task next this coming week. So I'm going to put here on the 31st, I'm going to just put that task as a start date on the 31st. And I want to do these windows as well. So I'm going to put that start date on the 31st as well. And you get the idea. Then once I do that, I look at the ones that don't have start dates on them, right? That do not have start dates on them. I don't have to put start dates on everything. I can just put the task in here and then I can put the start date in like I'm doing now. Then I can go over to my calendar and I can say, hey, what do we have here for the next week? And see how I have these two tasks here set out for next week. So when I come in and start organizing my tasks, let's say I'm doing it on the 31st, which is Monday, I'm going to have all of the tasks list here. Now I can just say, oh, okay, I could do the windows, but that's Halloween. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So let's move that one down to Wednesday. And then um, those are more windows. And then I'm going to move this one down to Tuesday. And then I'm going to move this one down to Thursday. Now, I know I'm not going to be here to change the generator oil on the... So I'm going to move that out to the 5th. So you see how I'm just moving things around. If I miss a start date, it's going to appear here today as one that's overdue. So let's just turn this one back and do that real quick as a pretend. So here, we're going to just say that that was due on the 19th. Notice here that the start date was on the 19th, it has it still here in my today, but today is the 25th. So it's showing up here because I missed that start date. No problem. So I'm just going to adjust that. I'm going to say I want to do that uh, tomorrow. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. So I want to do that task tomorrow. Okay. So 
that works out pretty well. I can drag it in there, or I can drag it back over here, and I can say, no, I'm going to do that today. Notice this one's expired as well. Instead of changing it there, I can just go out and go back in, and it'll modify the date for me. Notice here, now that start date is 26th. So that's an easy way. This is a very easy way to manage your tasks and your calendar, be able to look. And, and what I would suggest, one last suggestion, is that you monitor your calendar, uh, your tasks, and assign them to days in alignment with the things that you have going on in your life that are on your actual calendar. So if we look at our calendar itself, here we can see we're going to be busy. We're going to have some time here. Maybe we're going to have some time here. And so I'm going to go ahead and put maybe a task on here to do my tasks. I don't have to do that. I should just have the discipline to go in, take a look at the tasks that I have going on, and accomplish those tasks.